ho, ho. Well, it has been a minute, hasn't it? Welcome back to Jurassic World Alive. So, we are finally back where we... Whoa, what was that news? Hold on. Okay. Man, man, nothing. What was that I saw with blue? Okay, I have no idea what I saw, but okay. Uh, so, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to Jurassic World Live. It has been a minute, and the new season passes came out. We have 27 days uh, to complete it. Um, and we're going to go ahead and just say that this one is complete crap. <laughs> uh, the Sun Gaia, I think, got a buff recently. I'm not too sure. Um... I gotta think of what that thing's name is. But, um... No. Absolute... Absolute, uh, crap season pass, in my opinion. I mean, sure, we get to Sun Gaia. Um, Sun Gaia, whatever it is. But, eh. It's not even that great. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our daily. We leveled up off camera. Uh, with the, with the couple weeks we were off. Um, and what do we got? Velociraptor that needs guarding. Oh. Like okay. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Could have been better. But let us talk about what has gone on in the game. So before we get to unlocking those things, um, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about the uh, game for a minute. So the meta has completely changed. Get ready to cheer, guys. Although, a lot of y'all probably already know this. Um, Rexy got a hybrid, and it is a complete meta changer. This thing, apparently, can wipe squads of flocks in only three turns. Um, it is apparently really good. Of I think two of its attacks are group attacks. And here's my downfall. I have no post-dimetrodon DNA, let alone much dimetrodon DNA. And I drive around at night so many times. So, yeah, meta has completely changed. Alaraptor did not get a buff like I thought it would, um, which sucks. We did boost its speed. Uh, we are not able to level up Indominus Rex yet. Or Rexy herself, which I think is going to be our next level up goal. Uh, but we're going to level up Thylaconix in this video. I know that was kind of not the best decision I could have made, but the attack is worth it. So let's go ahead and create uh, this. Another flock to enter the game. And you want to know something? Oh god, I almost, almost coughed there. <laughs> It is not the most OP thing. It isn't. I have no idea how OP its hybrid is though. So, apparently, since Jurassic Park Builder, this is the first Jurassic game, no. This is the first Jurassic game to come out with arthropods or bugs. And then uh, earlier today we got Kalenikin. Kalenikin. Which, um, in my opinion, is a stupidly OP creature for rare. So, there we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and activate a Gigascent while we're at it. There we go. Nothing of use. Sweet. And what have we got there? So, uh, we're going to dart this alley real quick and continue with what I was saying about the meta. Okay. Okay, so back to what I was saying with the meta. When Rexy came out, she was in the meta, like she was basically the meta 
for a month, basically. Basically a month. I, I don't really know how long Rexy's been in the game. I haven't kept count. I'm going to have to go back and see. But it wasn't too terribly long ago. But she was only the true meta that I was happy with for a very short while. Um, map, diurnal, this creature's most active. Whoa! You can find Rexy on the map now? Shoot. Okay, guys. Well, um, it doesn't say any specific zones, so... Suggesting you can just go out and find her. But, yeah. So, the meta, um, has changed almost completely. The, like, um, as we know, the Tyranno Metrodon came out. Um, and then the... And Kylo Ceratops, the um, Elenka Ceratops thing, um, I probably haven't discovered it yet, um, but uh, probably. No, it's Trike. Um, where's Triceratops? I have Triceratops somewhere. Where is it? Not here. Where is Triceratops? And the pup is running about. Is this it? Yeah. Okay, here it is. The Elankyloceratops. This thing apparently is the most stupid creature ever. It's overpowered. Um, I've watched Beaver's videos. Um, and people get so confused on how to fight this thing. But it's been out for almost a month now, so people are probably or a little bit over a month actually. Uh, people are starting to figure out how good this is. I bet we go here to the top player. He's probably ID cheat. Oh no, yeah, he covers up his team with all the apexes. Uh, the King Rex. Oh no, he's got the uh, Scorpion hybrid, the Sunga Scorpius. So that's why uh, the Sun guy is on here. But Rexy and whatnot. Uh, Kobo, um, yeah, there it is, Elaine Kylo Ceratops, two flocks, Tyranno Kyrie, which is interesting, um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of, a uh, dumb, let's, let's just see what number 50 has, Alberta Sevia, Indonemis, yeah, I mean, let's see if we can, let's see if we can find our, uh, someone who doesn't even know who we are yet. Where is he? I don't think he's in, uh, the top 100. Where is Beeves? Where is Beeves? Oh, come on, he's got to be around here somewhere. Okay, what I'll do is while I'm editing this video, I will go and find where Beaver is. And I'll screenshot it and show you guys. Because why not? Foxtails! Oh, wow. Oh yeah, and earlier today, I had somebody, like, comment on one of my videos. That was over a year ago. Um, it was when I unlocked Utah Cyanoraptor. Uh, or Utah Cyanoraptor. Um, and he asked me, what level do you need to get Utah and, uh, Cyanoceratops? Well... My guy, if you're watching this video, the answer is you have to get both of them to level 15 because all legendaries start off at level 16. Um, and I don't think Utah Cyanoraptor has a hybrid. Like you go and spine with the Suchus. Uh, we're Cyanoceratops. Utah Cyanoraptor. Oh no, it goes into Utah Renex. So if you're looking forward to getting, if you're looking to get Utah Renex, which I don't think has any more usage, uh, I, don't, I mean, it could be good. 
I guess. I mean, you could try. You need to get Utah Sin Sin Raptor to uh, level 20. So there you go. Uh, what next? What next? What next? Last time we did a battle, we absolutely wiped a dude out with Rexy. So what's her next? No, I don't really need DNA right now. We'll go here and get some alliance points. Jackzilla and Malcolm Meatball have been doing the work, so thank you guys for that. Oh, God. Uh, hold up, guys. I will be right back. Okay. So, I think I fixed it. Um, if y'all just see me swipe up a random text message like that. Drake, Draco. I'll pick that tar by the... into a battle and probably wrap this one up <laughs> they're probably not gonna stop texting I told them to stop but they won't they don't stop got my leg itches hurry up I'm in a rush I got three more videos to record All right, back in the Badlands. Let's see what we got. I think we're in. I think we're in. Okay, so let's see the game just starts off. Our Dauntless Storm. Thought they all went in the Whatever damage he does, I'm still going to get my bow tape. I can heal a lot more, so... I heal a lot more for what damage I do, not what damage they do, so I just stay in the air. Let's go down. Let's go down. But him having an Odonka Torch is quite interesting. Very cool, right? See? Get the crit. I got him. Yeah. Clean sweep with Rex on the. There you go. Now I'm faster. Wherever he has, has to have a priority. And it has to be a. This does not have a priority. This is a big one, but that doesn't do damage. So, yeah. Well, there you go. I told y'all they're not going to stop texting me, so I'm going to wrap this one up. I know it's short, but I, Ooh, I need you. Um, so, if you guys enjoyed this uh, short return video of Jurassic World Alive, if you guys did, did enjoy, uh, so leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and uh, I will see you all in the next one. Peace!